think it's important to understand the association between connective tissue diseases and pulmonary hypertension. First, let's talk about pulmonary hypertension. As you may know, pulmonary hypertension is an elevation of blood pressure in the lungs that is characterized in most cases by remodeling of the blood vessels in the lungs leading to elevated pressures in the lungs. While this can occur in the absence of connective tissue disease, it's important to understand that patients with connective tissue disease, and in particular certain forms of connective tissue disease, might be at higher risk for developing pulmonary hypertension. Now, while pulmonary hypertension refers to elevated pressures in the lungs, it's important also to understand that there are many different forms of pulmonary hypertension. In fact, pulmonary hypertension is grouped clinically into five different groups of pulmonary vascular disease or pulmonary hypertension based upon what is thought to be the underlying cause of pulmonary hypertension. Connective tissue disease can lead to these factors that can cause pulmonary hypertension in each of those particular five groups. So not only is it important to understand that pulmonary hypertension might exist in the setting of connective tissue disease, but the connective tissue disease predisposes to all different forms of pulmonary hypertension. So what is connective tissue disease? Connective tissue disease is an autoimmune disease in general that it characterized by certain clinical findings, examination findings, and laboratory tests to be categorized into specific diseases. Examples would include something like lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, or more rare diseases like scleroderma or polymyositis. There are numerous different connective tissue diseases that uh, are present that we recognize clinically, but only a couple are felt to be strong risk factors for the development of pulmonary hypertension.